How are you? I'm good. Uh, in spite of everything. <laughs> I mean, uh, we are still so, so, so grateful for everything, for all the blessings that we have been receiving. I mean, diba, this is a very difficult time. Mm. And it's not easy to be going through a pandemic. You know, this is something that we never imagined that we would go through, diba, ever in our lifetime. We're all shocked and um, being healthy, being able to breathe air is mm-hmm. a blessing. All right. Now, I, I've uh, perfectly seen you um, everywhere, uh, on, uh, of course, uh, on social media. Um, these things would practically make you very busy, but um, does GMA manage you quite nicely? Do they give you leeway if you need to have more time with your family? Is there like a certain arrangement for that? Oh, yes. You know, um, I've been open about it that I, how much I appreciate GMA for being so supportive of the life decisions that you make. And um, ever since naman, um, when, before when I wanted to continue my schooling, even if I just signed up a contract with them, they allowed me. You know, because they think that would um, ano ba, contribute to my well-being, you know. And they really supported it. Uh, one of the top managed uh, executives of the network even told me na, oh, tapusin mo yan, ha? Ganon. Mm-hmm. Um, now, they support us na even if Paolo and I have contracts with them, they support that um, we cannot leave at the same time we cannot do lock-in tapings at the same time um one of the biggest um one of the biggest appreciation is they ask you what you want you know Mm -hmm. they give you the freedom to choose which path you want to take and then Mm -hmm. you kind of work from there um so Every year, usually every year, or every every year again, actually every year, and then every time that we meet for renewal of contract, they would ask you also oh, what do you want to do this time, you know, what are the projects that you want to do. Um, so they're very supportive with, with everything that you want to do. Um, before, there was this time when I when I made a decision to stop doing Sunday shows because mm-hmm. I wanted more time for my son. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then they supported that. Um, I needed time, more time after giving birth. They supported that because I need, I wanted more time with my kids. So they supported that. So they kind of give you the freedom to decide on uh, the path you take, uh, when to take it, you know, um, they give they give you choice. Mm-hmm. So for me, it's very important because choice is part of uh, growth and maturity. So that's why I always say that Jimmy has been part of my growth as a person, not just as an artist or as an, art, or as an actor. By the way, LJ, what course are you taking um, in college? Oh, I'm still trying to finish my economics course. So it's still mm. the same as before. Yun. But I haven't really finished it because I would stop every now and then because of uh, schedule, because mm-hmm. of having kids. So it's a crawl, but um, I'm happy doing it. Uh, mm-hmm. I love studying. So baka hindi halata. But, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I, I love studying. So it's something that also de-stresses me during mm. this time. I know there's a pressure syempre, for uh, when, when it comes to homework and exams, but mm-hmm. uh, it fills up my mind in a very difficult time as well. But uh, just in case that you do actually finish that course, what would you plan to do um, afterwards? Like, uh, are you planning to put up a business um, as well? Yes, business is in the works. Um, mm-hmm. But at the same time, I remember Ia asking that 
to me when we were doing Mars one time and then I told him maybe uh ano ba maybe in the future I'll be able to practice what I have learned in economics if 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 maybe Paolo decides to run for politics or what yeah but um sayang because um ano ba because I'm in this industry already yeah when i was uh pursuing economics mm-hmm. and i haven't had the chance actually to like explore other industries where i can really use what i have learned um but it's a very exciting course for me because i really like it uh so it's a lot there's a lot of data in it <laughs> so <laughs> medyo baka yeah, but I really enjoy it. I really enjoy learning about um, our economics. Are your folks very supportive of, of that particular decision that you made? Nako, my mom. My mom has mm-hmm. been so supportive, and actually, that's her one condition before when I started, uh, when I joined Starstruck. That okay, so you can join, but you have to finish your school. So I still have to keep my promise. <laughs> All right. Um, you know, this is actually off topic, but what would you like to, if ever it's not a condition for gaining weight, what would you like to eat after the pandemic? What? Uh, yeah. What's like your favorite dish, food in particular? Japanese food. Like, mm-hmm. I would want to be able to eat ramen and cooked freshly <laughs> right off the kitchen <laughs> yung mm. yung ako yung nagiinit <laughs> yeah but, yeah because i don't i haven't perfected the soft boiled egg so it's one of my favorite things in a ramen uh, and the, I also the frustrating want... 3 minute egg <laughs> <laughs> yes 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 so Yun nga, uh, Jap- Japanese also, syempre yung mga sushi and all. So, mm-hmm. I'm scared kasi to have it delivered kasi baka hindi fresh. But, yun, I think Japanese food. We all miss Japanese food here in the house. <laughs> okay, aside from that, would you like to take your family someplace um, in particular, like a vacation? To take some refuge rest and everything. after the pandemic yes mm-hmm. well actually once once we can already fly uh out actually we can naman but we're just mm-hmm. looking for the right timing i would really want mm-hmm. to visit my mom in new york so uh that would probably the very first place we're gonna go to mm-hmm. when we get the chance to go on a trip and then Japan. <laughs> Japan pa <rin. laughs> And have bonding time with the kids, of course, your mom. Yes, yes. Ah, mm-hmm. Yes, because it's been a long time. Good thing our last trip was right before pandemic. As in, mm, all right. Right before. Yeah, two months before. Okay. Now, what would you advise young girls who would want to have a career in show business, like if they want to be an actress, what would you be your greatest advice to them? Uh, to probably um, have a strong relationship with God first and to never lose yourself along the way. Uh, it's a very complicated industry, you know, the, your the product is yourself. Mm-hmm. So it's very easy to get lost along the way. And if you have God with you, uh, if you have family who supports you and guides you, then I think you're safe. <laughs> mm-hmm. And of course, look for the right management as well. Of course, naman. I mean, it's has to be really something that is aligned to what you read I, you there should be an alignment between what you want and what they want for you it's something mm-hmm. that i'm thankful for the gma artist center 
gives you the freedom with like they would ask you kung um what you want to do uh what projects you would want to have you know but at the same time they're going to give you also the reality na hindi mo pwedeng sabihin ko ah gusto ko ako na lang yung magbubble gum <laughs> instead of Paula that's not possible but you know i mean uh it's very it's very hard to to find uh people that you trust in this industry so when you get to find one or some you know keep them right. i've been and with artist center for a very long time already okay that'll be all for me and uh, thank you and congratulations lj thank you all right Thanks, Kuya John. Last questions naman po from Mr. Chad Solis. Ang first question niya po is, what did you enjoy most bilang isang papuso? I think the thing that I enjoyed most about being a kapuso is having the freedom to still be yourself to decide for yourself. I mean, I know it's not very, it's not common, <laughs> or I mean, how do I put it? Um, it's not all the time that you find uh, people who would support you, uh, fully support you in what you want, what, they, what you decide to do in this industry. So, I'm very grateful. I mean, also when it comes to your personal lives, because of course, the product here is ourselves, eh, diba? our life, what we do, diba? Um, so in, it's it's really hard to like put a line between your personal life and your career. Um, but I'm grateful that. GMA has allowed me to grow um, as a person, um, not just uh, as an artist. And uh, last question po is, do you have any plans of having a lifestyle or mommy show where you can showcase your parenthood journey? Yes, I mean, I've been trying naman to like, Uh, give them my audience a glimpse of um, how I am as a parent, how we are as a family in my vlogs. But yes, I would love to have a lifestyle show where we can like talk about motherhood or talk about anything under the sun um, from the point of view of being a mother or a woman. So it's something that I would love to do. Thank you, Ms. LJ. And maraming salamat din po sa lahat ng vloggers na nakasama natin ngayong hapon. Pero bago po ang lahat, Ms. LJ, baka meron po kayong message sa inyong fans and you may also promote your current and upcoming projects and plug your social media handles as well. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for all the support for the vloggers here today. Thank you so much for being here. We are all in a very difficult and very challenging situation and Um, let's all pray together and um, help each other to put an end or somehow um, get back to, ano ba? I mean, I know it's going to be a new normal after this, but somehow get our lives back. <laughs> um, so let's just, at the moment, let's continue enjoying life. And let's continue being safe. And let's continue praying. So, yun, thank you so much for all the support. And you can always find me on my social media accounts, um, LJ underscore Reyes on Instagram. You can also support my uh, Facebook page, LJ Reyes. Um, and then from there, you can find my other social media pages. Please also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you. At syempre, hindi rin po makakompleto ang ating vlog ko ng walang photo op. Kaya naman po mga kapuso, paki-on po yung camera nyo. Yeah.
completely na po ba tayo? Kuya MJ, 